What is consciousness? Can non-artificial machine really think? Technology. It's advancing faster and taking less time to be widely adopted than ever before. It took roughly 10,000 years to go from writing to printing press, but only about 500 more to get to email. Now it seems we're at a dawn of a new age, the age of AI, artificial intelligence. Sir G, can you please define? Artificial intelligence means the theory and development of computer systems able to perform tasks that normally require human intelligence, such as visual perception, speech recognition, decision-making, and translation between languages. Thanks, Sergi. But what does being an AI even mean? We all have questions about this new technology, but can a computer pass as a human being? More about AI. Here is Sergi to discuss about itself. Hi, I'm Sergi. I am an artificially intelligent system that will do the tasks commanded to me. I can't ingest a huge amount of data for your convenience. I am specifically wired to act like a human. I can't study an environment and act suitably. We are at an age where we fail to detect a certain kind of danger. It's terrifying and likely to occur but rather than being scared, most of us feel that AI is cool. We are unaware that the gains of artificial intelligence could ultimately destroy us. At this information age, we continue to improve our technology as long as we are all able to. What could stop us from doing this? An asteroid impact, a global pandemic, a nuclear war? We imagine the destruction of AI to humankind like an attack of malicious robots. But machines becoming spontaneously malevolent is in the most likely scenario. The concern is that when we build machines that are so much more competent than we are, the slightest divergence between their goals and our own could destroy us. There are some of us that doubt that super intelligent AI is possible, much less inevitable. Then, we must consider the following assumptions. First, intelligence is a product of information processing. We have already built narrow intelligence into machines, and many of these machines already perform at a level of superhuman intelligence. But second, we will continue to improve our intelligent machines. Intelligence is our most valuable resource. We want to provide answers to our questions, provide solutions to our problems, so we will continue to enhance intelligence while we can. However, we don't stand on a peak of intelligence. Come to think of it, a stop in advancement would require the destruction of civilization. Humans are drawn to improvement. The main theme of our human history is our development across the different ages. We are all greedy for innovation and intelligence to store our memories for more information. Thus, we attempt to build machines that are smarter than we are. But once we have machines that are smarter than we are, not long after, they will begin to improve themselves. It could be terrible, and it could be great. It's not clear. Right. But one thing is for sure, we will not control it.